Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So, in this video, I want to talk to all of you guys out there who, you know, are good dudes. You understand? Or you consider yourself a good guy. Now, you know, I'm not talking about the the guys who are the, the nice guys, okay? Um, so, the difference between, like, a good guy and a nice guy is the nice guy is the type of guy that's going to bend over backwards, do whatever a girl says, uh, try to impress a girl, please her by any means necessary. He's not being himself and all that other stuff, right? That's the nice guy. I'm not talking about that guy in this video. I'm talking about a good guy, good dude. I'm talking about a guy who, you know, you're just a cool guy. You, you know, do shit in your life. You go to work. You might go to school. You know, you're respectful to people and all this other stuff, right? So in this video, I want to talk to you guys and how you can actually maintain a relationship and keep things going with women right and the reason why i'm even talking about this is because what happens a lot of times is when you're a good guy and you're a good dude to a chick you know a lot of times things can go left because women aren't used to that a lot of times right so what happens is women get into a lot of relationships and situations where they fuck with dudes who are assholes bad boys jerks or whatever it is and so this is what they're used to right now, since this is what they're used to, when they're around a good guy like you, they sort of, you know, don't know how to, like, act in the situation in a lot of cases, right? So sometimes they may not even fuck with you in the first place because they can see that you're a good guy and that sort of scares them because they've never been in that situation to deal with a guy who's a good dude. And so they're scared that, you know... If they start to have feelings for you or to feel you in a certain way, that if you were to, you know, dump them or get rid of them, um, that they're going to be really hurt. And they usually feel like you may dump them or get rid of them because they feel like, well, their uh, their flaws or their, you know, things that they don't like about themselves is something that you're not going to like. And eventually you'll get rid of them and then they're going to feel a certain type of way. Right. See, now when a woman gets dumped or when she. Um, when a guy who's like a jerk or an asshole or a loser dumps her, it's, it's, you know, they still feel a certain type of way, but it's not as much of a sting as if a guy who is a good dude was to, um, kick it to the curb, right? Because if you're a good dude and you got shit going for yourself, that means that she's losing something good, right? Now, what I want to talk about is this, and you know, and, and you got to really look out for this when you're a good guy. Is that when you're dealing with a chick and you're a good dude, what's going to happen is at some point she's going to get comfortable. You understand? She's going to get real comfortable with you. And then that comfortability is going to uh, turn into her sort of, you know, maybe taking you for granted a little bit. Right? And then she's going to start acting funny and weird because she's, you know, taking you for granted. She sort of feels like you're going to be there and, you know, you're just going to like, you know, uh, uh, be there for her because you're just such a good dude. You are there for her now. And so she starts to take you for granted because everything is so comfortable. You understand? It's like this. I, I, and, and, you know, it's, this is not even I'm fucking sweating like a motherfucker out here. But anyway, this is not even like something that uh, is just towards women. I'm talking about like people in general. When they get comfortable with something, when things are just going the way it should go, they start to, you know, take it for granted sometimes, right? Because it's just so comfortable. It's just there. It's like something that you feel that is going to stay the way it is, and so you don't really appreciate it as much. I'll give you an example. Right now, you're watching this video, right? With your eyes. You have sight. I'm sure none of you, until I'm pointing this out right now, you know, was thinking about, oh, I'm so thankful for, for being able to see you just got so comfortable with the fact that you can see that you don't even think about it. It's just like, yeah, whatever, I can see. You don't even, you don't even think about that. The, you know, you could be in a situation where you may not be able to see. You understand what I'm saying? But because, you've, because you wake up every morning and you can see around you, you don't really think about it too much. You sort of take that for granted. You see what I'm saying? You don't really... Thank the Lord a lot of, I'm, so, I'm sure some of you do, or you, you know, if you're religious or whatever, but you don't like say, oh my God, thank you that I can see because you just see and you're just like, it is what it is. So you sort of got comfortable with that fact. So you never really think too much about it. And so therefore you take it for granted. You don't really, um, you know, appreciate it as you should. Right now. So this happens 
sometimes when you are dealing with women is that when things get comfortable because you're such a good guy and everything is just cool and chill, she may take that for granted. And then when she's taking that for granted, you understand, she may start acting sort of funny and all this other stuff, right? So now the way to keep a chick, uh, you know, uh, with, with things going, you know, the way to keep things going in this situation is that the way to make her not take you for granted is that she has to know that at any point you can leave. You understand? See, when she gets comfortable, she feels like you're always going to be there because shit is, is just good right now. But what and what happens is she gets, you know, she uh, takes that for granted and she might start acting all weird, get an attitude here and there. But because you're a good dude, you sort of like, sort of, you know, like put that in a different direction and you keep shit going. So because she feels like, you know, you're still going to be there, she'll just act any other way. But now if she doesn't know that you're going to be there or if she feels that you may go at any time if she acts weird or acts crazy then she will not take you for granted. You see what I'm saying? So the thing is, it's like, let's say using the, 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 the sight example. Let's say if you're, there was something wrong with your eyes and you had to take care of your eyes and they said, well, if you do this or do that, your vision's going to be fucked up. You may not take your vision for granted. So the same thing in a situation where, yeah, you can, everything could be comfortable, but at the same time, there has to be uh, something where she feels like, damn, well, I can't go too far because there's going to be consequences, and the consequence is he may leave. And the way that you do that is that you set boundaries. You see what I'm saying? So when you're setting those boundaries, what's going to happen is, is that she is going to know, damn, well, I got this good guy here, and I don't want to fuck it up, so I need to act right and, you know, not take this dude for granted so I can keep this situation going, right? So you got to understand that the, the, the comfortability that she's having can lead her to take you to for granted and lead her to act all crazy and have an attitude or whatever because she got too comfortable. Now, the thing is, if she's not too comfortable, then she's going to act right. And the way to, to make her not too comfortable is to make sure there are boundaries to where she understands that if she crosses the line, you may leave. You see what I'm saying? So that's basically how you sort of, you know, keep shit going as a guy who's a good dude. You understand? Because a lot of guys think they need to act like an asshole or a dick to keep women interested or keep them around. And it's not necessarily that's the case because, you know, you don't want to act fake or, you know, be who you're not to keep a woman, Right. But the thing is, is that you just have to be a guy who's not a pushover, a guy who's not going to, um, you know, uh, let her walk all over you. So it's like, yeah, you know, I'm a cool guy and, and we can keep this chill, but understand that I'm not going to be sit here and, and let you take my kindness for weakness type of thing. You understand? So uh, you need to understand that there are boundaries here. And if you cross the line, then it, it could be a wrap. And so that's how you keep shit sort of balanced and in, in line when you're dealing with a chick and you are that good dude. Right? Because remember... A lot of times when these chicks are fucking with these guys who are assholes or jerks, it's not even necessarily where it's like, oh, well, the, the, the jerk or the asshole is, is that attractive. It's more so she has such an insecurity that she's looking for validation through that jerk or that asshole. You understand what I'm saying? Which keeps her coming back to him. You understand? But a chick also wants a guy who's going to treat her good. But the thing is, is that if she gets too comfortable, she may take that for granted. And this is why you have to set that boundary. This is why you have to make sure that she knows that if she's acting funny at any moment, you could bounce. Okay? So make sure that you set those boundaries. And the thing is, the way you, you know you set those boundaries is that when you see her acting up or acting all funny, you know, you need to let her know at that point that listen, this is unacceptable. If this or that happens again, I'm good. Or if this or that happens again, we, we, we can't rock or whatever. You understand? And so she needs to know this because you want her to realize that, yeah, you're comfortable and you're enjoying this good energy I'm bringing, but this good energy I'm bringing to you and that you have right now could be taken away from you if you act like this or you keep acting that way. You see what I'm saying? And so you're that good dude, but you also have boundaries. You see what I'm saying? And that's the difference between the good guy and then the, the nice guy. The nice guy has no boundaries. He's just like, I'm going to just do whatever to get you and keep you and everything. And this is why chicks don't really respect that guy. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to say about that. Um, yeah, guys, so make sure if you have any questions, click the link below. 
and I will holler at you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace, I'm gone. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. What's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to Bad Boy Membership dot com and master the dating game by joining my bad boy membership program in this program you'll receive 45 through 90 minute easy to follow step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract date and have sex with beautiful women join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com